53 on the far side is a seven-year-old sorrel gelding from the Lonesome D Ranch presented by Jess here today. 14-3 horse, a uh, horse that really covers ground nice. They've done some light ranch roping on them. And if you looked at some of the pictures, I mean, they have rode him through the creek and they've just they just do whatever they feel like doing with these horses. That's kind of their program is to uh, make a safe all-around horse that uh, a lot of people should be able to ride, use, and enjoy. And certainly here's an opportunity here, the number 53 horse, GLH Peppy Gun, is a horse uh, with some eye appeal to him and a horse that uh, has been ridden a lot outside. They've used him for doing some light ranch work. And he's a horse that's great out on the trails. If you're here just looking for a horse to take to the mountains or to take down to the park and trail ride or whatever, boy, there's a rascal that it worked for and you could be proud of him each and every day. Capable of more, of course. Has had the light ranch work done on him, ready to take home, do whatever you need doing at your place. Very attractive gelding as well. That's lot number 53. Got some athletic ability, got some stop and some wool. Lot 53 is in. They've been bringing horses to this sale now for several years and always bring some horses that are broke, broke, broke. This is number 53. Next horse in will be the number 43 horse. Presented by Tyler here today. This is SQ Red Leo. He's a seven year old red roan horse. He is sired by Quincy Blue Sox, a horse that for several years was over at the Longmere Ranch. Empress Alberta, out of a granddaughter, Solano Pepe San, world champion sire. Uh, this horse has been used for many, many jobs, has done all kinds of ranch work. Uh, Tyler's used this horse for breaking colts. He has been hauled all over Saskatchewan and Alberta to the cuttings, used as a turnback horse. So this has been Tyler's go-to horse. He plans to make one of these a year. Um, Tyler rides horses full-time. That is what he does for a living. So it is not uncommon for this horse to be saddled first thing in the morning and maybe used to, to break some colts, move some cattle, whatever, and he will be unsaddled that night. So he, is, he has put in long days, big days, whatever you need him for, and he is kid quiet and kid gentle. Uh, lot 43, SQ Red Leo. There'll be some people here that can use this good roan horse. I know that for a fact. Lot 43 is in. Very versatile kind of horse. Do many, many different jobs and do them all quietly. Back to the center on the sorrel horse. If you spend all your money on a horse and you don't have money left for tack, all you need is a rope, which isn't such a bad deal. So this horse is broke and quiet. A lot of people will get along with him. Has done the light ranch work. And he just, uh, and uh, again, the horse is gonna be the same every day. So just kind of watch this horse lope around a very nice circle. A little bigger circle, a little bit quicker. I 
mean, as you can see, just a rope around his neck, pick him up a little bit. So even with a rope around his neck, this rascal is still flexing in the pole, just kind of carrying his head really the way you'd want it done. Shuts down, stands there licking his lips. Those are all very good things. Back in the round pen again, down at the far end is the number 43 horse with Tyler. Then back to the center with Jess, we're going to lope some circles the other way. So that's the 53 horse in the center, just leaving with Jess. And the 43 horse down in the, in the pen with Tyler. Big Ron Gelder.